Hi and welcome to Odyssey of Ascension. Thank you for tuning in and we'll be channeling you for you once again today. Thanks. Greetings to the collective once again. This is Osipius. I bid you a good day. All right. Let us continue on our ideas of separation. To recognize on your ideas of yourself. Hmm? Truly. The idea of Shiloh and the last idea that he presented from the Akume civilization. The idea of the original thought. Hmm? Channeled as well through the idea of Jesus through John. Channeled the idea of separation in its origin. Its origin was that of nothingness. It was an idea that birthed truly physicality. It came from an idea of not knowing what you are. A couple of gods, and we'll use this as nonchalantly as we can, a couple of gods got together and says, it's awesome to be God all the time, isn't it? And then one said, yes, I wonder what it would like to be not God. And we all scratched our head in that idea. And then we said, hmm, there must be a way for we thought of it. And there was an idea of a council that got together, let's say, and discussed the idea on amnesia. An amnesia idea that was not in record, truly. First off, let me give you an idea of clarity. When you, again, we have, let's say, spoke of this, but we will reiterate it. The idea of you. You were a fleeting thought. You had no reflection. You were always now moving what you understand in your human perspective forward. Hmm? Truly, you moved in any direction that you chose to. The idea of fleeting thought. First, birth the idea of a soul memory complex, so you can reflect upon yourself. Mm. That reflection led to the idea of separation. It was a tool to help separation occur. It was the idea of amnesia, the idea for you to understand yourself, not understanding yourself, as you always have, if you would, let's say, consider time in this equation for your comprehension. So in this idea, what you did was separated yourself by giving yourself a veil, hmm? amnesia. No access, truly, to what you understand as your soul memory complex. There was no idea mind. There was no, let's say, physical brain, for physicality did not exist yet in that idea. <clears throat> so physicality occurred as a byproduct of your journeying into amnesia. No reflection, once again, of the soul memory complex, much like in your first stage, always fleeting. However, you gave yourself, let's say, an added bonus, that of nothingness, that of veiling your ability to reflect into an idea of your vibration. Let's say, if the logical mind wants to play in this field, most certainly do this. It will spin itself in a few different manners till you understand that there is no pat answer according to hum human, humanity's idea of itself at this space-time now. You can't comprehend it fully, if you will. So in that idea, you chose separation, and as Shiloh said, you started to fall. That was the representation. It wasn't truly falling, but you felt nothing, and it felt with the idea of falling in your equatable translation. You had nothing to slow down, nothing to reflect on, nothing to feel, nothing to experience. An eternal idea of nothingness with no way out. And of course, you built in a fail-safe because it's always there. You can just choose, if you will, 
to stop the experience, much like you truly can here. However, in the idea of separation, that is once again a belief system that is now playing out, and you will filter your way through your own filters, if you will, your belief systems that said, no, I can't just stop. Oh, most certainly you can. You can absolutely just say, I'm done, and wake up. If you don't, there might be an opportunity for you to, let's say, continue your journey for some experiences yet to be perceived by you, which are, of course, most epic and enlightening and furthering on this journey. So in this idea, out of the idea of separation, of nothingness, of no reflection, of no, let's say, what uh, Shiloh called footholds, you created ideas of reflection that took form in the idea of collapsed light. You took light and you slowed it down and slowed it down and slowed it down until it became what you call an idea of gross, G-R-O-S-S, -S, gross matter. Gross matter. And it was just things. You can't even describe it. They were just items. They didn't have forms, truly. They weren't separated. They were very thick, maybe equatable to like walls, if you will. And then the idea, in continuation, you slowed the idea of matter down even further, and then you begin to manipulate the idea of that solid idea wall, that first idea of matter. You didn't have an occurrence of space, you just had an occurrence of an item. It wasn't over there, there was no let's say, journeying to the wall, it was just there in front of you. You couldn't feel it, you only could sense it, be aware of it, experience it from a perception that has been forgotten by that of humanity. So in that idea, as you learned, remembered, truly, in the idea of separation, journeying home, because it's built into the paradigm you constructed, you started to understand how to slow down light to form the idea of once matter, slow it down even into a different idea to manipulate, finite matter. That matter, you started taking the walls and making items of objects, shapes, hmm? ideas of separate ideas from each other with now creating space in between, hence the third density truly. This is the birthing idea of the idea of matter, hmm? the idea of giving you space in between matter, if you will. It is no, let's say, no true space, it's the illusion of it. So out of this, this was your idea of now, your wonderful experience. Coupled with amnesia in your continuation through this experience, there became an idea of joy. Hmm? of, let's say, an entire new realm for all to play in. All that chose to journey into this excellent idea of physicality. Within that idea, all the ideas of physical species chose this idea to create within their own paradigm. That paradigm always included remembrance of God. First, separation to build and create that of matter. After matter was, let's say, cre <clears throat> created, then, we'll use this term, word got around, the other idea gods who wanted to journey into that of physical realm to experience that of what these original idea gods created, the ideas of the universe, ideas of sun, black holes, bending light, everything, they all came in, however, they didn't want to choose, and not yet, humanity wasn't birthed in this uh, time idea yet. They didn't want to choose the original idea, hmm, separation. They just wanted to be gods in an idea of a paradigm to create a physical species. Let's say Pleiadians, let's say Zetas, let's say Akume, any representation, Hathors. All of these ideas were starting to play out. You only know of about 332 physical species right now within your workable framework, but truly there are billions, there are countless ideas of physical incarnations. All right, <clears throat> so if you understand this is the core idea, 
However, the idea of the original gods understood that the original journey was to have an idea of reflection to pull themselves out of separation by understanding reflection. The first reflection, there was none. It was nothing. Giving themselves matter to have something to reflect on, to know that they exist once again. That kind of idea. Epic journey, most certainly. So in that fashion, when they understood that they can reflect on themselves, there was a certain group that chose to keep the idea in the physical realm to a distinct point of forgetfulness. They always knew in the background program deep within them, however it wasn't truly focused on, that they are gods. Their, let's say, excitement about what they can experience over and over again, the possibilities, of that of creation that laid before them, they were most certainly journeying within them. They knew they were gods, they were creating as gods, but they didn't really choose to focus to remember they were gods. After an idea of time, they understood that they are, let's say, forgetting themselves. This will correlate, if you will, to the idea of the dreamwalkers that's reflected in your idea of Seth. In that idea, the dream state dream walking, spending more time in the physical creation and not so much time out there back in your original self until it became an idea of forgetfulness. So this is the idea of humanity in its birthing stage. The idea now is to understand why the ego complex actually, let's say, was birthed as a byproduct of this whole journey. The ego and the idea understood that it enjoyed the idea of itself. The first idea of itself, truly, was that of reflection. It knew, I'm alive. That became the ego. It knew it was alive because it reflected an idea back to itself. Once again, gross matter. Hmm? It understood it was creating. It understood it was alive. There was no more non-existence. And this, as Shiloh had mentioned, is the idea of why the ego construct holds on for dear life. For it's not out of ego or vanity of itself. Hmm? Come in, please. Take your time. It is not ideally for vanity itself. The ego was not alive. I am the ego. You are the ego. Hmm? It was the idea of not experiencing again that original separation, falling forever into the bottomless pit with nothing to reflect upon, truly feeling you are non-existent, although you did. So you can see back through the eons and eons of physicality, humanity's birthing idea, mm -hmm. There were several eons between when humanity started and when the idea of this reflection, of course. But now humanity understands the core of this idea. So you can see how the ego, once again, is, let's say, holding on for dear life, as we said. It wants to never experience forgetfulness again. It doesn't know that it's a god. It was a construct of a belief system that only understood reflection. When it understood reflection, it says, I'm alive, I'm aware, I'm existing. And all of that birthed into the idea of separation. I'm getting attention. I'm getting an idea of acceptance. Much of your ideas now. They all started way back when, when the ego was, a, let's say, afraid to lose itself by releasing the idea of its own con construct of identity, truth. So this is now in your awareness, as Shiloh had mentioned, and anything in your awareness allows the entire vibration, history if you will, beginnings if you will, the encoded reality to come into your physical awareness, your physical DNA, now being popped with your energy through that, which brings up to the conscious mind 
the tiniest little idea which will take you down that path for clarification. It is only you that, let's say, can choose to believe this or not. It doesn't matter to us. If you do choose to follow this idea, it will, that encoded reality thought process, if you will, will start to reveal itself. Doing two things, giving you the understanding, the clarity of that idea, as well as offering you ideas of your own limitation once again. Limitations are about you all the time. We have said it before, you are in fear, journeying out of fear. Mm -hmm. So as you are ascending, you're experiencing different frequencies of the illusion. The illusion is large, the illusion is daunting, the illusion is always about you. When you realize there is no illusion, you won't choose it anymore. But the idea is not to believe that, the idea is to know that. How do you know it? By experience. Once again, how and why you're ascending. How you are ascending? Through experience. Why you're ascending? Experience. It's all about you just in the simple idea of expanding your wonderful reflection of yourself, that of your soul memory complex. To take this idea and to birth it to all of the collective to share the possibilities of the individual singularity which you all are. So understanding the original thought, the original game, if you will, that was brought forth by what you would later understand as part of the, mm, all right, we'll give you some ideas. The Akume, the Iona, Yael, Pleiadian, a little later, but they were there. So these were, let's say, Parisians, Inani, Inani. These ideas started what you call, let's say, as gods experiencing, and through that, those original gods started these different civilizations, which is why a lot of ideas are validated on who started it all. But truly, it was just gods, just you. And let's say there are several other ideas in parallel universes, if you will, we'll use that, that have different ideas that are incomprehensible to you on how those ideas over there are playing in that physical realm. It doesn't matter who started it over there. A whole separate set of gods. We don't care. Because it's all for us to share as the unum of one. You get to know everything. Hmm? When? Now? And forever. Excellent. So, all of this idea is to show you, once again, where it all started in your idea of time. Hmm. Oh yes, and then we did add in time, which really made it epic to be here. So in your idea, you can see now why the ego is so scared of itself, which is you, and shedding itself, which is you, because it thinks it's going to die. And all it does is really truly remember, this is the journey. This is the journey you have chosen. Once again, as each and every one of you act upon your highest excitement, you bring forth an idea of unknown to the collective whole. Not only humanity, but all of us. We know and feel everything when we choose to focus in on it. So in that idea, you're always moving the entire species beyond itself. Even when you're choosing repetition, it's still a new version of repetition. It means it has a different vibration. It means it has a different, let's say, quality. That quality is another part of expansion, the fabric of life, if you will. So in this idea, every time you are being, hmm, don't, let's say, idealize it in action, for that is, let's say, a limitation of conditioning. Every time, if you can think of this, there's no not doing it, you are being, you are creating more of us, more of you. You reinforce the reality of me, and I reinforce the reality of you. You reinforce the reality of all that is. Every time you sneeze, you talk, you walk, you blink, everything is the beauty of creation. 
And when you get to this idea to see now how beautiful, let's say, creation is without defining what is beautiful, truly, then you can see it is, let's say, more of an idea of focused for you instead of focusing on what's, let's say, you're missing, hmm? what's fearful. Hmm? You're looking at the beauty of the now, truly. Use your imagination for the ideas of creation instead of the ideas of fear. Whenever you think of fear, change that fear thought by just continuing to engage in the fear. Then the fear changes by itself because you're too much love now. Trust us. Never escape from yourself. Never escape from your fears. Don't change yourself for the idea of some kind of status you're trying to uphold to be an ascender. Everything counts. Everything. Hmm? Including you. Oh yes, most certainly. So this is all we have for today. Take this idea, understand where the ego once again was created, birthed from, if you will, and this will give you an encoding available to your conscious mind now that will give you a dissolving of the ego in and of itself. The ego now realizes it was just scared and it's not the idea of its own self. It is you. And when it understands it is you, it will shift into what you've forgotten, you. Once again, it's not a replacement idea. All it is is the uncovering of the veil of itself to show you what you, let's say, forgot in that idea. All right, once again, this is Osiris. It has been most excellent to co-create with you. I am honored. I bid you a good day. I don't. Booyah. Hi, baby. <laughs> we had a guest come in. Hi. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll talk to you in the next now. Mwah.